I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. She said, stepping back while observing her angry, abusive husband who was approaching her, wrapping a leather belt around his face. He looked like a death to her. I'll never do that again. Please leave me. Before she could complete her sentence, he hit her with the leather belt, causing a sharp pain. She screamed, unable to bear the pain, and tears welled up in her eyes. Also, never stop to beat my beautiful wife. Who crushed her rose against sweetheart? Smiled while beating. Please come, stop it. It's hurting a lot. Crying. Isn't that what I always want from my wife? He still continues to beat her non-stop, even though she is crying in pain. He doesn't care, but instead he is enjoying it. She was crying, trying to shield herself with her arms to protect against his beating. How much longer could she bear it? Each strike of the leather belt left red marks on her skin, causing painful scratches. His beating was so cruel that they even tore her clothes. But finally, he stopped when he noticed her skin was revealed through her torn clothes. He passed. His silent stare met with her teary eyes filled with fear. Even in his silence, she feared he might choose another way to hurt her inflicting more pain. When their eyes met and his gaze fixed on her exposed skin, she swallowed hard and tried to cover herself, but he grabbed her wrist. Please show some mercy. He slapped her, making her lay down on the floor. He over over her dangerously. Stop always trying to stop me from He ripped her clothes aggressively. Jangkuk is walking slowly while looking around calmly. His eyes fall on the lady, who is sitting on a bench, lonely. Her hair strands are dancing due to the heavy blowing weather. She is in the light pink dress. Seeing her from a distance, Jangkuk's heart starts spawning so fast just by looking at her. He wants to see the lady who was she. He slowly takes his steps towards her. Her eyes fell on the shoes he is wearing. And she is full of her eyebrows, slowly looking up. When their eyes met, their eyes widened because once upon a time they were both lovers. She got up in disbelief, staring at his face. One, she couldn't speak, even though he called her by her name. Tears welled up in her eyes, but she hid her best to control them and managed a smile, which he returned. Finally, we met again. Jango, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? She didn't answer at first, but maintained a fake smile, she replied. Even though she said it, it sounded like different to him. His eyes fell on the corner of her lip, which was slightly cut, and his smile faded. When what happened there? He was about to touch her lips, but she stepped back before his fingers could reach her lips. He withdrew his hand, wearing a slightly suspicious expression, wondering if she was married or she might feel uncomfortable around him. By any chance, are you married? She nodded her head with a heavy heart, and her single knot was enough to stab his heart into pieces. When did it happen? Two months ago. What's his name? Kang. Your parents forced you to marry him, didn't they? It doesn't matter, Shango. What about you? It's not that easy to marry someone else. Who isn't you? I was living my life alone. I recently got shot. And last night, I shifted to this city. And I didn't expect you that you would also live here. Ryan felt slightly happy that he got a job finally. But she also felt tense because if they are both living in the same city, Jungkook might find out about her married life. You still haven't answered me? How did you get the cut on your lip? The truth was her husband had slapped her again this morning, but she didn't want to bother him with the sad details of her life and the gang won't spare her if she tells about their personal life to others.
it happened when I fell. Really, that cut on your lips looks different compared to what you said. She nodded hesitatingly. How is your married life? It's going well. Hearing that, Jungkook smiled slightly. But not that much happiness. Don't you want to invite me to your home to introduce your husband to me? Her heart skipped a bit. She really didn't want him to meet her husband. Not now. My husband is out of heaven. She and Jungkook looked at the inner side part and saw Kang coming towards the side. Jungkook turned his gaze from Kang to Wan. But he was a shocked because he saw fear in her eyes like he had never seen before. Who is he? Then Jungkook was about to introduce himself to Kang but stopped when Wyan answered, I don't know who he is. She slightly started to Jungkook widened his eyes at her answer. How can she lie that she doesn't know him? He suspected it. But when he first saw fear in her eyes, and now with the story, he remained silent. But Kang looks at Jungkook with a raised left eyebrow. Hey man, what were you talking to my wife about? Jungkook looked at Wan who was gesturing to him as if to please. Then Jungkook sighed in disappointment and looked back at Kang. I was asking her where is the grocery store is. I recently shifted to this city. By the way, this is Jungkook. He extended his hand to Kang in an attempt to make friends to get closer to understanding what's going on between them. But Kang coldly ignored him and grabbed Wine's hand, dragging her back to their home. What's on earth? Why is he dragging her? Why does Wine get scared just by seeing her own husband? Why did she lie to him? She could at least say, I'm just a random friend. Before Wine could say something, Kang slapped her, causing her to fall to the floor. He then grabbed her long hair, pulling it back and forcing her to stand up, making her hiss in pain. She gripped her head while enduring the pain. How the hell did you think you are allowed to talk to another man? Did you forget my rules? He slapped her again and she held her cheek, managing to speak. I'm sorry, I had to talk to him. I made a mistake. Please forgive me. No, you purpose to talk to him because he is handsome. I can also estimate that if I hadn't come there, you would have asked him to. No, you are wrong. I'll tear you in two. He tried to take off his belt to beat her with it, but someone rang the doorbell causing him to stop. He looked back towards the door. By the stand tears, I'll go and see who it was. She wiped her tears and adjusted her head. He opened the door but no one was there. He sighed in frustration and about to close the door but then he remembered that he needed to go to the office. Hey, lock the door, I'm going. Saying that he left, her cheeks were burning because he had slapped her so harshly, leaving a palm print. She walked towards the door to close it but froze when Jacob appeared outside the door. Her tears escaped from her eyes, unable to bear the fact that Jungkook no knew about her difficult life. Jungkook's eyes became red as he noticed the red mark on her sensitive skin. He stepped in closed the door behind him. In fact, Jungkook had followed them and he was the one who rang the doorbell. They both looked at each other in disbelief. She fell to her knees and burst into tears and he didn't stop her crying. Understanding her situation, she had lied twice. He came toward her, gently placing his hands on both of her shoulders, helping her to stand up. Why and how did you become so weak? Why are you putting up so with him? Instead of fighting back, he asked visibly shocked because she had been a strong and daring girl in high school. Now she seemed like a terrified and overly sensitive woman to him. I really thought you were happy. But what's happening in your married life? Please tell me. My parents liberated the same black man. 
forcing me to marry that beast, just like they did last time, threatening to die if we didn't break up. I had no choice but to agree marry him. But since the first night of our married life, he has been abusing me, both mentally and physically. I was so scared, and I told my parents, but they said it was my fault. They blamed me for not making Kang happy physically, and that's why he is abusing me. I ran from this beast twice, but he found me and beat me up badly. He warned me that he would leak my photos on social media if I tried to run away from him again, or if I told anyone about his torture. So I am enduring his torture. I really made a mistake breaking up with you to save my parents. I shouldn't have done that. Now I regret it. Hearing her share her pain made his blood pop. His nerves tightened with rage. He wanted to kill Boyan's husband right there and there, but instead he cupping her face, gently wiping her tears away with his thumbs. Boyan, I'm here to help you, okay? Don't cry, he said softly as she continued to cry too, afraid of her husband to No, Chango, no one can help me. Please leave. He will leak my photos. I'll break his hands if he dares. I can't let others see your photos. Trust me. No, I'll die if he does. What she said. Her words were off when he kissed her without saying a word, not caring that she was already married. She didn't kiss him back. He broke the kiss after a few seconds and made her look into his eyes. His own eyes conveyed how much he was willing to do for her. Then he kissed her cheek with a sense of pain, swallowing him. He aimed to calm her fear and ensure she listened to him, properly making sure she wouldn't refuse him again. Don't be scared. Stop surrendering to him anymore. I can stop him. I won't let you follow us. See by anyone. He is giving her the courage which she needs in her life. Please, don't be afraid of that beast. Come with me, as my girl. I'll put you in my heart. She was speechless but trying to say something. Jungkook, I'm not like before. My life already ruined too. I'm not your whole wine. Shut up, wine. You are my girl. You are mine, wine. I love you sincerely. I don't care if you got married to him or not. My love for you isn't joke to me. And you know who I am. I still have been searching for you not to forget him. But when I saw you in the park, that's when my heart started pounding like before, when we both were in love. Now I can't leave my wine in this hell. Come with me. She still can't believe in me because again Jungkook is there for her. But... But before I come with you, I need to divorce him first. And even then, I can't step out of this hope until I find my photos. Plus, my parents won't let us live peacefully if I leave. Leave everything to me. I'll make him pay for ruining your life. I won't even speak to your parents. They didn't love you. They were toxic and forced you into this marriage for money, not out of love. I have your plan. He whispered something to her, causing her to nod hesitatingly. She was cleaning the living room when someone knocked on the door. She knew who it was. Hesitatingly, she opened the door, preparing to face the beast. She looked at her angrily. She didn't understand why was he angry again or what new reason he had for it. Clutching his teeth, he fished and walked forward while she stepped back, maintaining eye contact with him tensely. Why didn't you remind me about my project? I asked you to remind me today. She tried to recall which project he was talking about. Because of you, I didn't complete my project and my co-worker was finished it. And in the few days, he will definitely get a promotion. This is all because of you. He gritted his teeth, unfastened the belt around his waist. Leaving her detective. Please don't hit me. You deserve pain for not listening to your husband. He smiled. Why do you beat me every day? I can't bear this pain. Please leave me alone. Because I want to. This is only one thing that can satisfy me in this world. 
and why are you asking me questions strangely did you forget that i have your photos he spoke with delish pride causing her eyes to well up with tears delayed them otherwise i will find a complaint against you where did you suddenly get this much courage to speak against me i'll smash you right now he raised his hand to beat her with the bat but his hand stopped in the middle when someone grabbed it from behind clutching his hand he looked over his shoulder and thinking who showed him by wearing a police officer uniform when she saw jangot in a police officer's uniform she was also deeply shocked her fear no longer dominated her jangot kicked the back of kang's knee forcing him to kneel in front of them you are under arrest he reached for handcuffs but kang interrupted how did you come here and for what reason you are arresting me for abusing your wife and blackmailing her with her photos do you have evidence to accuse me of the no right let go of me i didn't do anything like that to my wife kang was about to get up from his kneeling position but jangkook slapped him and pulled his head back while his other hand played a video on his phone in that video what happened just 2 minutes ago was captured Kang was also shocked as he looked around and saw spy cameras hidden in his home. His gaze then turned towards Wai. He was about to attack but Jungkook punched him in the stomach and the other apes started dragging him out. Before Kang disappeared, he gave Wai a death glare that froze in her place. Jungkook touched her tear streaked cheek, reminding her that he was also there for her. She hugged him tightly, releasing her pain, and he gently patted her back in response. Thank you, Changu. I'm so scared. It's okay, Wan. Everything is gonna be alright soon. He broke the hug and made her look at his face. We have evidence, and I'll make sure he gets double of what he gave you, and he will be punished legally for everything he did, and you will get the divorce too. Wine nodded her head, her face finally showing a real smile. He leaned closer to her ear and whispered something. Let's get married soon, Wine. Her face went blank, and no words came out of her mouth. I'll make sure you get the life we both planned before our breakup. Just move on from this hell. I'll marry you even if your parents don't agree. I only want you also, not anyone else. I would like to marry you, Jango. Yes, please take me with you. He smiled at her and hugged her.